Welcome back to another episode of Maddie's Rap, the show where we rap about things that guys rap about when we're hanging out. And in today's video, I am going to use a bag of flour to show you why you need to stop calling yourself black or white. Okay, so I am in one of my favorite supermarkets, which I'm not going to name because they're not paying me for advertising. But uh, I'm on the flour aisle and I'm going to show you exactly what I meant in the intro. What we can learn from a bag of flour. Here we have all-purpose flour. Bread flour. White whole wheat flour. Seasoned flour. Gluten-free all-purpose flour. Almond flour. More almond flour. Let's see. Organic whole wheat flour. Natural almond flour. Tapioca flour. White rice flour. Chickpea flour. Coconut flour. And uh, let's see. Keto wheat flour. a whole lot of flour. If I were to dump all of those bags of flour out and sift them together in a single bowl, how in the world could you tell which flour was which? Catch my drift? <sighs> Let me wrap this video up. What can some bags of flour teach us about race and color? I think it's pretty clear. If you were to take every single one of those different bags of flour that I had, uh, dumped them out into a bowl and sifted them together through a sifter into a different bowl, you would no longer be able to tell which flour was which. Am I right? And so now you understand why I always say so-called black or do the double air quotes when I use the term black and sometimes white. The thing is, I'm of the very strong opinion that <laughs> we were reclassified as black to give the exact same result you would get if you were to dump a bunch of various different bags of flour of all different types and sift them together into a single bowl. Now you don't know which flour is which. And so that is the problem with calling yourself black. That is the problem with calling yourself white. What does that mean? Like, are you almond flour? Are you oat flour? Are you amaranth? Are you millet flour? Are you buckwheat flour? What are you? Now, some of you would say, oh man, it doesn't matter. But you know what? When you, when you, uh, actually it does matter. It does matter. It, it, it matters a whole lot because once you remove the, the fallacy of color identifiers, then you're left with dealing with a people who actually have a rich history, a rich lineage. Nobody says black dogs. Nobody says, um, nobody sees a, a Rottweiler and says that's a black dog. No, they, unless they don't know that that's a Rottweiler. If you were to take five various different dogs of different shapes and sizes and put them in a pen, let's say you got a, a, a black Rottweiler. Let's say you got five black dogs, a Rottweiler, a German Shepherd, a Poodle, a Chihuahua, and a Cocker Spaniel. And you put them all in a single pen, you would know which dog you were dealing with. You would know because each of those dogs has different characteristics they have different roles that they play traditionally so now when you're dealing with people it's uh all of a sudden it's okay to call them black it's okay to call them white when you get outside of america people they they uh when they don't go by what their nationality is they they the only thing that matters is their family name the only thing that matters is their tribe this is the way things have been throughout history until uh, <laughs> until these United States, until the British colonies or whatever. They were all Native Americans. What, what tribe were they? That was important, right? <sighs> Stop calling yourself black. Stop calling yourself black. Stop calling yourself black. All right? Now, of course, you can stop calling yourself white too, but I'm dealing, I'm dealing with the people whom uh, the color identifier has been the most damaging to historically. We were taught to call ourselves black and love it. Say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. Yeah, but what does that mean? Who are you? 
Take away black. Stop calling yourself black and then ask yourself, who am I? You'll have some homework to do. I know who I am. Hey, listen. Y'all have a great day. Listen, if this video did anything for you, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button and tell, tell a friend about this channel. Tell a friend about this video. I think it's time that we grow up. I mean, the age is, the age is changing. We're in 2020. Um, according to the Mayan and the Ethiopian calendar, calendar we're in 2012. Okay? <laughs> what is time, right? What is time? It's a whole lot that we're learning. That, that we're, in the, we're in the midst of an awakening. We're in the, we're in the midst of an awakening of humanity, even. As my friend Ralph Smart says on his channel, I say my friend, I don't know him. Hopefully I get to meet him one day or maybe talk to him in a, in a chat or whatever. But uh, as he always says on his channel and on his videos, we got a whole lot to talk about. And I ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? Ralph, if you're watching that, man, that's a shout out to you, man. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Your, your channel's very inspiring. I love your videos. Um, I love the comments. I love the people who comment on your videos. So uh, speaking of comments, if you got a comment, drop it below. But um, at least now you guys know, for those who have asked me personally why I use the double air quotes when I say black in my videos and why I say so-called black and so-called white in my writings, now you know. They're just colors or color identifiers that we use to uh, basically mask the true identity of various different people. Some of you say it's not important. I'm here to say it is. <laughs> who gave somebody else the authority to reclassify you, right? Anyway, y'all, have a blessed evening because it's evening time right now where I am. But if you're watching this in the morning, have a blessed day, all right? And uh, tell somebody you love them and mean it. How do you mean it? You show them. Don't just tell them, show them. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. And thank you for supporting uh, Maddie's Rap, uh, the show where we rap about things that guys rap about.